All right, well, last week we took a short look at the new list view control in ASP.NET 3.5, and today we're going to take a brief look at the add, edit, and delete capabilities. This is actually pretty simple stuff. So in order to make a list view do add, edit, delete, we need to make sure our data source is set up for add, edit, delete. So we'll go in here and configure the data source real quick for add, edit, delete. Click that advanced button there. Then we want to do generate, insert, update, delete statements and use optimistic concurrency. I always like using optimistic concurrency when I'm doing uh, stuff on the web here. Go ahead and finish. And now we go in here and we're going to regenerate this. Uh, we have configure uh, list view. And we're going to leave it at tiled right now. Do professional and enable editing, enable inserting, enable deleting, enable paging. Now, just keep in mind when you do this that this is going to overwrite everything that we've already done. So, uh, last week we made it do the uh, edit, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the sorting, uh, and we're going to overwrite all that sorting capability right now. And if we go in here, that's really all there is to it. We're going to go run this now so you can see what it looks like. So now we can edit. And down here, we can go ahead and insert a new record. So let's go ahead and close this. And just so you can see, we get the same functionality if we go into the grid view. Uh, we're going to go switch this now to a grid view control. So, figure list view. I'm going to leave it at grid. We'll make it a little colorful here. Regenerate, and you'll see without running it here, we'll just scroll down, you can see edit and delete, and then we have the row for inserting right here. Uh, this makes things uh, a lot easier. Remember in the, the grid view control, we had to basically create our own type of uh, insert and record thing, and uh, this is taking care of that for us.